Hey everyone, it's Allison Haikila. Thanks so much for joining me. It's time for my latest video with Imagine, and we are going to be making a Mother's Day card with mushrooms and some cool foliage, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're going to start off with this brand new stamp and die set from Sizzix and 49 and Market called Painted Pencil Mushrooms, and we're gonna use those top two stamps right there that I pointed out. We're using Versamagic ink in red brick, pink grapefruit, tea leaves, key lime, wheat, and Sahara sand. Versamagic is a beautiful chalky ink that's pigment based and it layers really nicely because of the opacity that it has. And we're gonna be playing with the fact that we're using the dewdrop shaped pads as opposed to a full size pad, makes things easier with the techniques that we're going to be doing. This is the first time I'm using this stamp set, so I was just using my hand to kind of um, wipe it down, get rid of any of the excess kind of stuff, that the residue that's left from uh, when they're manufactured. So I'm taking the red brick Versamagic and I'm applying that to the mushroom top. And I'm going to be doing this a few times. That white piece of paper there is, is there only so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Using some type of stamp platform like a Misty or another brand is really helpful for this process. And in addition, I'm using my Whimsical Wishes stamp glider pressure tool just to help me um, push down the ink into my smooth Bristol cardstock. That's what we're using today for that. So I've moved on to the pink grapefruit and I'm using that more at the top of the mushroom cap there. You can see that there's that kind of a harsh line. I'm not really a fan of that. So I'm going to go back in with the red brick and kind of use the, the shape of that dewdrop ink pad to my advantage to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Uh, and I go back and forth and do this a couple of times and you can see that that looks much better. But look at how pretty that gradation of color is without a whole lot of effort. It's just because the Versamagic, again, is chalky and it's pigmented and it just, it blends together really beautifully without really a whole lot of work. So I'm using the wheat right now to do the stem. And then I'm gonna go in with a bit of the Sahara sand. It's a little tough to see on the clear stamp itself, but there are a couple of other little mushrooms there that I'm adding the ink to in the Sahara sand. You'll see it in a moment. I'm sorry that it's off screen. Um, and that just, it adds some depth to what I'm working with here. That Sahara sand also helps to make those extra mushrooms stand out a little bit better. You can see them better here. Once we get the outline stamp on top, you'll really be able to see them. This particular stamp is not meant to be solid and perfect. It's meant to look like you just kind of watercolored it or splatter painted it on your own. But in reality, you don't need to do any of that because the stamp will do it for you. So it's a really cool stamp. It's a cool way to kind of get color on this pretty detailed line stamp. You'll see once we get it on there that there's a lot going on, um, but this is just a fun way to color it in if you want to. And there is the tea leaves. And I'm gonna add a little bit of key lime. It's a little tricky to see, but, but it works out in the end. Um, here is where I'm lining up that outline stamp. Again, I'm wiping it off because it's a brand new stamp. And I've got Versify and Claire Nocturne the Versafine Claire inks are my absolute favorite, not just for stamping sentiments, but any type of detail stamping. Also, if I'm using watercolors or watercolor markers, it is just, it's perfect. It works so well. So you could see how nicely that, that stamped, and it wasn't hard to line that up either. I've got the coordinating die, and I cut that baby out, and look at how nice that is. Isn't that so cute? Now we have another stamp from that same collection. This is the Painted Pencil Leaves, and we're gonna use the, again, outline stamp, and then you can see the other one there. It looks kind of messy and splattered, and that's exactly what we want. I grabbed tea leaves again, and I'm also going to add in Pumpkin Spice Versa Magic for this. And you might be thinking, well, you know, that's kind of fallish looking. It's okay. Again, this is a Mother's Day card. Maybe not for your mom, but for my mom. <laughs> my mom loves mushrooms so much. When she doodles, she doodles mushrooms all the time. And the colors that I chose in the Versa Magic ink line are colors that she really loves. She loves oranges and olive greens, and she's going to really love this card. The only problem is that she's going to wind up seeing this video before Mother's Day because she enjoys watching my channel. So um, happy Mother's Day, Ma. This card is for you. <laughs> 
So we're going back and forth with these colors. Look at how nice that looks. And even though you would think that the pumpkin spice and the tea leaves might kind of make mud, they really don't. They just look so nice together and they blend so beautifully, again, because we're using Versamagic. So once again, I'm lining this up with the stamp that has an outline. And you can see that my stamp kind of overhangs my cardstock just a little bit, but it's it doesn't really matter. We're not going to see that stem anyway because of how we're going to lay the mushroom on top of it. I've got the Nocturne ink again. Guys, this is the richest black ink. If you haven't used it yet, you've got to give it a try. It's so wonderful. And that was only just one stamping. You know, I didn't have to double stamp. It, it just works beautifully. Look at how nice those look together, right? So now I've got some craft cardstock. Uh, this is Nina Desert Storm and kind of figuring where I'm going to arrange that stuff. And I have the Hello You Sentiments. Again, this is from Sizzix and 49 and Market. This is all the same collection. It's a brand new collection and I was excited to play with it. And again, I knew my mom would love every single piece from this set. So that's why I went with that. I, I chose the You Are Amazing Sentiment. And I'm just trying to figure out where I wanted to go. At first, I was going to hang it out on the right or stamp it out on the right. But then I was like, mm, it's going to be a little too heavy on that side. So I decided to go with the left upper corner. Now I have Fallen Leaves Versifying Claire. Again, these inks for sentiment stamping are amazing. And I decided that I didn't want it to be so harsh with the Nocturne. I wanted something just a little bit softer. So that's why I chose Fallen Leaves, and that color works so well with everything. Now I have Shady Lane. This is one of my most used colors that isn't a neutral. And I chose a couple of the splatters. You'll see another one of them later. Um, and I'm just kind of stamping it all over the place. And this, this splatter is, is really filling in that background nicely. The trick to using something like this, and it doesn't have to be a splatter. It could be stars, hearts, whatever. Um, is to constantly turn the stamp while you're stamping it. Don't have it all going in the same direction or else you're going to wind up creating a pattern. Unless that's what you're going for, uh, you may not want that look. So now I have Memento marker. Did you know that the whole Memento line has, well, is it the whole Memento line? Yeah, the whole Memento line has coordinating markers to go with it. There's a lot of colors, really nice selection, and this one happens to be Love Letter. I thought it would look really nice with that mushroom cap. Rhubarb stock would have also worked, but I went with Love Letter. So now I'm just kind of playing, and I'm trying to decide if I'm really happy with how that's kind of hanging out, and I decided that that tiny leaf at the bottom needed to come off so that I can move it so that it's more visible because it was just, it was too much behind the mushroom. So we just chopped it and you'll never know that we cut it off once we glue it down because that stem again is hidden by that mushroom. I've got some liquid glue and I'm just going to quickly adhere this down to my background. And now we're going to make sure that that lines up well and that we have the placement the way we wanted it to be. You could have also used foam tape to pop up maybe the mushroom, but with the fiddly bits of the grasses with the mushroom, I, I decided not to do that. I could have cut it out with craft foam and maybe done it that way using the dye, but again, I just didn't want to fiddle with it. So now that's all adhered and I'm loving this, but that white card base is just not something I'm really happy with. So I decided to grab Pumpkin Spice Versa Magic again and just quickly go around the edge. These go on so smoothly and just soft and lovely. I, I really like working with them. And you do not need to use a blending brush because they're chalky. So they just go on really nicely. You can use a blending brush if you want to, but that just wasn't necessary in this case. And it just, it really finishes the card off nicely. And I think I'm done here, but then I'm like, mm, there's a couple of holes and I need to get a different splatter. So I grabbed another splatter I think that this one was from the sentiment set and just added it in a couple of little spots just to really finish it off. And there's our card. This is my mom's Mother's Day card and I think that she's going to love it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll be back real soon with another video. Be well, stay safe, peace out.